let me make the record clear that uh, I have nothing to do with those billboards. Uh, I gave that statement during a TV interview, and one of uh, our supporters, who is uh, Filipino Chinese, by the way, uh, found it to be resonant and started posting it on electronic billboards that he owns. Out of a sense of civic duty, I presuppose, because I have had no conversations with him. But nevertheless, this is a country that prides itself and cherishes freedom of speech. And what I said was the truth. And if the truth hurts, so be it. Uh, I, I, I said it in an interview. It was flashed on a billboard without my doing. And if there are big consequences, I'm ready to face them. But I just said the truth anyway. So that's that for me, Pinito, and I do not owe any explanation to any foreign entity for that. Because there is freedom of speech in this country, just like we allow foreign elements to participate in media fora such as this. The same should be accorded to a Filipino citizen and a public official in his or her own country. I wish other countries would afford us the opportunity to do the same. I think somebody uh, nervous about your political plans after the ones uh, culminating about the billboards. If it was supposed to be a political ad, number one, the most telling thing, I wouldn't have used complicated language. <laughs> I would have said it in Tagalog, Ilocano, or Bisay. So it was really captured from an interview I gave media. And, and it was posted on a website, admittedly a website of my supporters. But the billboard thing was, mm, I really had nothing to do with it. But nevertheless, uh, I think the supporter who flashed it on the billboard for his conviction and standing up for the rights of Filipino people in our uh, territorial sea, our 200 nautical mile EEZ, other areas where we have sovereign jurisdiction and where we have title.